today we're going to wrap one of these beautiful little egg shaped crystals in the waxed twine so this has a little triangle there at the bottom and a sort of macrame design to make a net that holds the egg shaped crystal so we're using the 0.8 millimeter waxed cotton twine today and we've got a little opalite egg shaped crystal here so it's about three centimeters tall and about two centimeters wide and we just start out with our cotton twine here so we need one length of 50 inches so I'll just start out measuring that one out first So 50 inches there and then we need two lengths of 12 inches so three lengths in total one nice long one and two shorter ones so to start off with with the long piece we find our middle there and then grabbing one of the shorter pieces as well we just want to find the middle of that one as well and just match them up together so the middle of the long piece with the middle of one of the shorter pieces and then we're just going to tie a little knot there and just pull it nice and tight pull each tail make sure that the knot is tight then just grabbing your other short piece and matching it up with the other short length as well at the end there and just following that back down to the knot we want to tie another knot and it needs to be about 1.5 centimeters along from that first knot there so just measuring that there along from the knot that's where you need your knot to be about 1.5 centimeters out so just start by tying the knot and then as it comes tight you can start to maneuver into the spot that you want it about 1.5 centimeters there once you're happy it's in the right spot you can pull that one nice and tight as well then we just join the other two lengths together as well so we're starting to form this triangle here at the bottom so we want to tie another knot here on this side that also is about 1.5 centimeters away from each knot as well so just making sure you're going to tie that knot in a nice even triangle so you can try and measure it again or you could do it just by sight but just trying this little knot here and then as you're pulling it just making sure it's going to be in an even triangle shape then you should have a nice little triangle that's going to be the start of your net so just grabbing your little egg shaped crystal we want this triangle part now to sit directly over the bottom so it's really important that that triangle is not too big if the egg can fit through that triangle you're going to have to undo your knots and retie them because you're going to lose your crystal I like to tape mine on so that it stays in the same position So just holding that triangle on the bottom, so getting it into the right position there. Still helps if you can see those little knots at the side, but you're just wanting to hold it on there so that it doesn't move. So we're going to start on the first layer of our knots for this net that we're creating. So of each part that's come through the knot, you've got two cords there. So you're just going to grab one out of each side that's next to each other and bring them over together and tie a little knot there. This one here is probably about one centimetre along and then just tie a little knot.
And then moving around to the next one, grabbing one tail from each knot and then tying another little knot there. So you want all your knots around to be at the, about the same level to make your design look nice and symmetrical. Pulling it down nice and tight. Then again, just grabbing those last two tails and tying a little knot there as well. I'm just checking your design as you go. It's no big deal if you have to take some knots out and redo them, that's totally fine. And it's much better if you do it at this stage, just so that you can keep your design looking nice. So we've done our first layer of knots there around and so we're just going to do the same thing again just on the next layer. So this one here might be slightly further apart so you can see it's going to be sort of a slightly bigger hole there as you work your way around the crystal. So this is kind of the bulkiest part of the crystal there of the egg because of the way that the egg's shaped. So it can sort of have a little bit bigger hole so again on this layer, just bringing one from each side and tying a little knot there. This one's a slightly bigger length, probably about 1 to 1.5 centimetres. And then the knot. Pulling the knot nice and tight. The same design can be used for wrapping just about any size or any shaped crystal. You just adjust your knots for the shape of the crystal and you can work around it. And then just working around to the next one as well. So just taking two cords there, one from each side and tying a little knot there. So just checking as you go along that that tape is holding your little triangle in place at the top. And then around to the next one. I feel like this little knot here is a bit too long. It's too far up near the top of the crystal. So I'm just going to undo the knot and redo it just to be down a little bit lower. So just undoing that one. This is the joy of this sort of craft. You can undo it. And of course the twine is a little bit more forgiving than wire. So I'm just going to tie that one up a little bit lower. Your netting should be almost around your whole crystal at this point. So we're going to fix the top part now of the crystal. So I just grabbed two of the threads at the top there from different pairs. And we're going to tie a little knot there. You want the knot that you tie in these two here to just be sitting at the top of the crystal there. So obviously you're not going to pull it too tight or it will slip down the side there. If you just tie a knot there that can sit at the top of the crystal, then that can sort of anchor the whole rest of the knot on. So just with that little knot there, then I just bring all the tails up to the top and we're going to start to form the tie at the top. Pulling them all together. So you want to make sure your netting is all nice and tight and also that none of your holes are big enough that your crystal can get out of. Then I just bring one of our long pieces around the egg crystal. Wrapping it around four or five times really nice and tight. Just making sure that that's sitting directly at the top of your crystal. And then we just grab a piece of twine out from the side of the group at the top and tie that in a knot with the piece that you've wrapped around. I do two little simple knots there and then pull it really nice and tight. Then we can grab all those short ones 
and just cut them off but just make sure you keep the two longest parts out because that's what you're going to tie your little necklace with so just snipping all those shorter parts off and then I can singe them with a lighter and that sort of melts the ends all together just make sure you don't melt anything extra on your wrap or the two longer pieces It should be a really secure wrap at this point. So just taking your time to singe those bits down, make sure you don't have any bits that are going to fray. Now you can take your tape off. You should have a perfect little triangle at the bottom and that's sort of holding your egg in place. And then you should have quite an even looking wrap on all the other sides as well. So then you can pop an adjustable knot on the end or just tie it in a knot and use it like a hanger or a pendant. It is a simple macrame wrap on an egg shaped crystal.